Hi there, Simon here. So I get a lot of questions about why I don't like day trading and why I've said in my book and uh, a few other public places that day trading is the devil for beginners. And the thing is, I, I know a lot of traders, most of them are bad, but I, I do know a few other very good traders. Some of them are, are day traders, so that when they see my stuff, they're like, Simon, seriously, what's going on? Now, there needs a bit of context behind this. So first of all, if you don't know what day trading is, it's where you spend one to eight hours a day staring at your, your charts, uh, placing God knows how many trades, and they tend to be over levered. And the thing is, with with day trading, it's like an accelerated version of trading on, on steroids. It's like, um, so trading is like driving. Driving is like a skill which is transferable to all sorts of different vehicles. So if you, if you know how to drive a car, you can drive a go-kart, a lorry, uh, a tractor, etc. And trading is, is exactly the same. If you know how to trade, you can trade commodities, stocks, currencies, etc. Day trading is like racing. So it is a form of driving, but it's sort of a bit racius, so to speak. And for the beginner, so someone that does not know how to trade, uh, has no experience on the markets, learning how to race is just completely stupid. Uh, you need to start off, you know, doing the mirror signal maneuver type stuff in your Ford Fiesta or whatnot before you jump into a Lamborghini. And it's the same with the market. So I, I do think that if you're a beginner and you don't have at least, you know, two to three years of trading under your belt or unless you're a profitable and consistent trader, I wouldn't even embark on, on day trading. And one of the things is that you have different time frames where, uh, when, you're, when you're trading. So you have like, the, the daily charts. What happens on the daily chart is every single day you get one new bar. That's it. You wait another day, you get a, another bar. So not much happens. It takes a couple of weeks for things to sort of uh, play out. But with a, a five minute chart, for, uh, for instance, Every five minutes you get a new bar and so you can literally watch the, 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 the charts dancing in front of you and it's even worse on the one minute chart because literally every minute something's happening. You just don't have enough time to, to, to think sometimes and if you are a, a new trader and you're, you're, you're jumping into the, these you know, lower time frame charts, you're, you will get trigger happy. Your eyes will be glancing at your profit and loss and it will be going up and down. You see these candlesticks going up and down and you'll be like, oh, do I? And, then, and then you'll panic. And so you need to sort of chill out a bit because trading is a marathon. It is a race, but it's a marathon. It's a really long-term uh, thing. And this sh you should not be trading to make a million quid straight away. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. So yes, I mean, I, I do day trade sometimes when I uh, want a new toy. I, I, I day trade a bit and then, uh, then I buy my new toy. Uh, but for, for a brand new person, it's definitely not the way. And also one last key point here is that trading for me is a, is a life skill, okay? And it's something which I want to do until the day I die. Because I, I do like trading, even though I, I don't, I'm not as excited as I was like 10 years ago when I, you know, 10, 13 years ago when I got into it. In order for this to be a life skill, it needs to be, it, it must not take up too much of your time. So for me, it takes less than two minutes of trading per day. That is it. Literally all of my staff, they think that I'm going to be talking about trading all the time. They never hear me talk about trading, ever. And it's because I literally do it in the morning when I wake up, I stroll into my office in my dressing gown, load my screens, have a quick glance at them all, change my stop losses if I've got um, some running trades and that's it, it takes literally less than two minutes per day. However, if I was a day trader and I'd have to spend one, maybe five, eight hours staring at the screens, I wouldn't, I'd have no life. And the day traders I know have no life. They're gray haired, uh, they sit in their office all day in the dark just trading. Whereas me, I, I get on with my life. I'm like, I don't, I'm not bound to a desk. Otherwise, yeah, because trading is, is, is a lifestyle thing. And I know that if it, because it takes so little of my time, I'll trade indefinitely. Whereas most people are busy. No matter who you are or how successful you are, most people are busy. And if you have to like get home from work, feed the dog and walk the family and whatnot, damn it, we'll get that round, the other way around, um, and then have to spend a couple of hours staring at some bloody charts, then you're not gonna do, do this um, for any long period of time. So that's my stance something which you should do when you get better, but not as a beginner, definitely not. Cheers.